Hey there, happy day one of the Get Up and Go Challenge. Sharon Hornells from here. Do you know that actually one of the hardest things that we do every single day, and we do it every single day, is to actually get out of bed, to hoist ourselves, to physically get out of bed. Now it's harder for some of us than it is for others. I have been one of those people that's had chronic pain like the majority of my life. So physically getting out of bed has, has always been a challenge. But I learned at a young age that there were things that I could do to get me out of bed. I also learned that through trial and error, lots of trial, lots of error, that if I got up as soon as my alarm clock went up, and if I stood up, walked across the room to turn off the alarm clock, or actually physically moved and took the action to get out of bed to do something, that I wasn't going back to bed. Now, sometimes, yeah, it's easier to just go climb back into bed, but for the most part, that's the hardest thing we do every single day, physically and emotionally and mentally, because we're going from a massive transition of sleep and subconscious and dreaming to taking action, the world of action. And that's the first action we take every single day. There's all kinds of tricks you can do. I, I do all kinds of tricks to myself to keep myself up and awake now. Um, one of the things I do is I make my bed as soon as I get out of it, as soon as I get up to, to actually plug in my hot rollers because I've got to have my 80s hair. And then I brush my teeth. Brushing my teeth is a signal to me that I'm instantly awake and I'm ready to start my day and the rest of my morning routine. Now, this pandemic, this uh, COVID-19 pandemic has thrown all of us a curveball. And part of why I decided to do this 30 days, this is a 30 day free challenge to get up and go, is because I personally wanna make sure that I am better off and better prepared for the world that will greet us all on April 30th or slightly beyond or, or thereabout. I wanna make sure that I am personally prepared and that I can prepare as many people as possible to hit the ground running when our lives and our worlds open up again in personal and professional ways. Uh, this is actually for you if you are throwing your hands up in the air, if you're squishing the squeeze ball, if you're frustrated, if you're sleeping too much, if you're eating too much, if you're doing anything that you know isn't good for you right now uh, because you don't know what to do. You don't know what your next move is. You don't know what you should be focusing on. This challenge is for you. Um, every day I will talk to you about and I will share with you an everyday success secret from Dr. Wayne Dyer because I love Wayne Dyer and this is a great little book. Um, so for example, today is saying we're gonna talk about and I need my magnifying glass, put down the stress ball, grab your magnifying glass. It says, either you have control or you don't. If you do, take control. If you don't, don't waste your energy on worrying about it or fretting or commiserating or feeling bad because you can't can't do something. Now, if you know me or you've met me, you know that there's no such thing as can't. There's I won't, I shouldn't, I don't want to, I'm not willing to put forth the energy, the time, the effort, the resources, whatever, but there's no such thing as can't. So we are in a situation where a lot of our control has immediately been removed from us, right? So we can focus on what we can't do and what we've lost and what's not working anymore or we can focus on what we can do. For the next 30 days, we are focusing on absolutely positively what we can do. And we're gonna begin that by asking ourselves and answering a question. Today will be a really quick short one, um, but every day we'll do an action item. Every day I will ask you to do something and comment below with your answers. And you can comment in, I've set up a, um, a private Facebook group. That's where I would comment. You can comment on the page here if you want and if you, you know, don't wanna go into the group. but. In the group is where we'll really be in there supporting one another and helping one another and coaching one another and masterminding and helping one another solve the problems that we're facing to make sure that we do hit the ground running in 30 days, to make sure that we are at least a year, if not more than a year, better off on April 30th personally than we are on April 1st, today, right now. It's not an April Fool's joke. I forgot. It's April Fool's Day. I'm serious about me being better and you being better as well. So what's our assignment today? Ask yourself the simple question, how flexible are you with change? Um, in this, uh, I love workbooks. I have tons of workbooks and I do a lot of coaching and a lot of fun things. And I like to use other people's tools because it adds credibility so people don't just think, oh, this is Sharon telling me to do this. This is a lot of amazing authors and best-selling authors, by the way, who have created tools and books and things. And I'll share some of my favorites with you throughout the 30-day journey because guess what? Sometimes we just need to get outside of ourselves and actually do a little something to help us think and see things in a different way. So in the Don't Sweat the Small Stuff workbook on page 140, number 65, he's got a couple, I mean, 
I don't remember how many are in here, but at over 100. Um, questionnaires and exercises. And how do we make changes in our lives? We ask ourselves questions. Everything we do subconsciously, we evaluate by asking questions. So on this, he's got uh, be flexible with changes in your plans. How flexible are you with changes in your plans? It's so our action item today, and I'm going to read you a couple of these so that you can ask yourself, okay, how flexible was I before? Because I used to think I was really, really flexible when I was younger, and I was terrible. I wasn't flexible at all. It was my way or the highway, and that was it. And as I got older and more experienced, meaning knocked in the head and knocked around sometimes in business and in life, I learned that it was a lot more fun and a lot easier to be flexible. So my question is, before Corona, how flexible were you on a scale of one to 10? One being absolutely, positively not flexible at all. You could say zero if you were like totally rigid and not flexible at all. To 10 meaning you just go with the flow of life and whatever comes your way, you just deal with it in a positive way. That would be a 10. Uh, before coronavirus, right now, and where do you want to be after? So I call that PC, post-coronavirus, because I like post-corona actually better than political correctness. So three numbers in your comment, and you don't have to say what they are, just one, two, and three. So before coronavirus, I was a six, let's say. I'm just making this up. Um, during coronavirus, I'm actually about a four right now. I have gotten um, less flexible and way more rigid in how I approach things, how I do things, what I do and what I won't do, where I'll go and where I won't go, which is pretty much nowhere right now. Um, and then who I'll interact with, things like that. So my flexibility has actually gone down and I've gotten more rigid. And then how do I want to be after post-coronavirus? I want to be about an eight, right? I don't want to be so flim flammy and flexible that everything that comes my way, I don't I don't really let it impact me, but I also want to be more flexible. I want to be continually improving in my flexibility. So what does, I'm cheating here, Richard Carlson from Don't Sweat the Small Stuff have to say about being flexible with changes in our plans? And he gives 13 examples of different situations that could happen to you that could change your plans. And what I will do is after I'm done with this video, I will actually go through this exercise in detail in a video in the comments below and share the exact things. Like he says, you just started on some work at home. How many people have done that? When a family member announces he or she needs a ride somewhere, very important, right now. So you're at home, you're working, and you've been interrupted. How flexible are you with being interrupted with working at home? This is a real situation that many people are facing. So I will talk about that and we'll talk about the, oops, sorry, I wasn't planning on doing this now. I will talk about that and my responses to these things before coronavirus, how I would have responded and then how I would respond now. And some of them are just not appropriate, but I'll pick two or three of them to share to kind of give you an idea of, of how we can look at where, we, where we've been, where we are right now and where we want to go and why that's important. Um, that's it. Please join me every day. If you have a preferred time, hit me up in the comments below because given that life is thrown up in the air, people's schedules and people's availability are different. If you want to be here live, otherwise I'm going to record it and I'll share the recording all day and it'll be up. I don't think I'll ever take it down. I'll put it up for the 30 days for sure. But after that, um, it's not one of those challenges, things. It's, it's for our betterment. It's not going to go away. Um, I feel like Mel Robbins. She keeps hers up forever too. And I, I always have. I've never taken my challenges down and I've done hundreds of them. And so if you want a challenge in any area uh, that can help you get a result faster than you ever thought possible, hit me up and I'll, I'll link you to where one of those challenges are. So if you're super, super stressed right now, ask and I'll hit you up with a stress challenge. If you want to grow and build your business because you are actually running and you're scared to death, hit me up for that and I'll put you in the super size your business challenge. I've got, like I said, a blood pressure challenges, health, wealth, and relationships. Not so many in relationships, but health and wealth, I have tons of challenges that I've done that are out there in the online universe and I can access and give, give y'all access to those for free, of course. Uh, but look for the homework. Homework again, three numbers, comment below. Before Corona, how flexible were you? One to 10, one being not, 10 being super duper flexible. Where are you at right now with respect to flexibility? And number three, post-corona, where do you want to be with respect to flexibility and how flexible you are with your plans changing, right? With just everyday events and everyday things changing in your life. Not pandemics, you know, I, I'm going to just uh, put this out there. Hopefully in our lifetime, there will never be another pandemic. 
and we won't have to go through this again. That's it. Have an amazing day. Comment questions below, and I will, of course, be with you later for my homework and then uh, tomorrow with another Get Up and Go Challenge. What are we going to do to ensure that each and every one of us are dramatically better at the end of this month than we are at the beginning? Take care. Have an awesome April Fool's Day. Go, go pull some pranks on the people that you're living with. That'll be fun, right? <laughs> Take care. Bye.